Not sure whether to choose between the 3.4G hub and the 3.5G hub? We've tested and reviewed both of these routers, and in this video, we'll explain the differences between them. Before we begin, make sure to click the first link in the description to find the best deals on these two routers at the moment. This link goes to a page with the best prices on the three website at the moment, potentially helping you save money. So the first big difference between the 4G hub and the 5G hub is their speeds. With the 4G hub, this was our minimum sort of speed test. We'd often get about 30 to 40 megabits of download speed as well. So with the 4G hub, you can expect download speeds of about 25 to 45 megabits per second on average, with an upload speed of about 8 to 15 megabits per second. On the other hand, with the 5G hub, we were able to get up to 700 megabits per second, and our average was about 500 megabits. From what our viewers tell us, about 300 megabits is normal, but if you have strong 5G signal from 3, you can get 500 megabits on a pretty consistent basis as well. So the 5G hub is typically about 10 times faster than the 4G hub, although its upload speeds are pretty similar. 3's upload speeds on 5G are quite limited, so you can expect an upload speed of about 10 to 15 megabits with the 5G hub. Another area where the 5G hub performs really well, although people don't realize it, is Wi-Fi. The 5G hub is Wi-Fi 6 compatible, while the 4G hub isn't. So we found that the 5G hub tended to offer better signal, especially over long distances, and it was also better at dealing with obstacles like brick walls. So if you're in a medium to large size house, the 5G hub performs a lot better on Wi-Fi. The 4G hub is still good, and we were particularly impressed by its latency over Wi-Fi, but its lack of Wi-Fi 6 compatibility made it a bit weaker over long distances. For home broadband, the 5G hub is a better choice, especially if you have a lot of devices connected to the Wi-Fi hotspot at once. So in terms of latency, both routers are quite similar. While we were able to get some very low latency results with the 4G hub, this isn't typical and this download speed was also quite abnormal. You can expect a latency more like here, which is what we got with the 5G hub, of about 30 to 40 megabits per second with both routers and sticking at the low 30s range if you're plugged into the router with an ethernet cable. We were able to get quite a good experience playing online ping sensitive games like Rocket League. And we found that both routers worked quite well for online shooters as well. Just, you'll ideally need to make sure that you're plugged into the router with an ethernet cable, just to minimize your latency that little extra bit. But for casual games on mobile or Nintendo Switch, where you can't plug into the router, the Wi-Fi latency does perform quite well still. You'll just want to be plugged in for anything more competitive or ping sensitive. So generally, the latency offered by both routers is quite workable, but it's not as low as the 10 to 20 milliseconds you'll experience with fiber broadband. And there's basically no difference in the latency between the two routers. But the 5G hub is a bit better over Wi-Fi, just because it offers Wi-Fi 6 compatibility. So in terms of other specs, there is one advantage that the 4G hub has over the 5G hub. It offers 4 gigabit ethernet ports instead of just the two that you get with the 5G hub. So if you like to plug a lot of devices into the router, you might need a switch if you use the 5G hub. Apart from that, they're pretty similar. Both routers support up to 64 connected devices, it's just here with Wi-Fi where the 5G hub performs a lot better. The other thing about the 5G hub is it comes with an app which can be quite useful in optimizing your signal and making sure you get the best speeds. So you can see here, you can look at what your signal strength is like in real time on the app, which can be quite helpful when finding a good place to put it. The 4G hub doesn't come with this at the moment, so it's a bit more of a guessing game to get the best signal with this device. So in terms of cost, the two devices are quite similar, which is why we recommend sometimes looking at the 5G hub, even if you're only in a 4G area most of the time. So you can see here, the 5G hub costs £24 per month on a 24 month contract, and it's the exact same on the 4G hub. And they both come with this six month half price offer. So the 5G hub is better value. It offers better Wi-Fi performance for the same price. And if you can only get 4G, your speeds will be about the same with both routers. They both also come with this 30 day money back guarantee, so if you're not quite happy with the speeds, you can send it back and get out of the contract. The only difference is, you can also buy the 5G hub on a one month plan for £28 per month at the moment. This option isn't available on the 4G hub.
So in conclusion, if you can, it's a lot better to get the 5G hub over the 4G hub. Obviously, if you can get 3 5G, it just makes sense to get the 5G hub because your speeds will be about 10 times higher. But even without 5G signal, the 5G hub still makes sense. It's the same price and offers better Wi-Fi signal. And you can always return it within 30 days if you're not happy with the speeds you're getting. Remember, to check the best prices on these two routers whenever you're watching, use the link in the description. This will take you to the 3 website where you can put in your postcode and see the best deals on the market at the moment. And if you have any questions about the differences between the 4G hub and 5G hub based on our testing, leave a comment below.